Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Bass and Intuitive Tarot. And in today's reading, I'm taking a look at Cancer's Love Life for the week of January 2021. But do remember, my readings are timeless and time is fluid. If you're new to my channel, it would be totally awesome if you were to hit the like, subscribe, and the notification bell. I would greatly appreciate it. If you feel like you resonate with this reading and you want me to get extra nosy on the situation, I will also provide the link to the extended pinned at the top of the comments where you will also find the link to my website if you would like to connect with me and book a private reading. BadisonIntuitiveTarot.com. You guys, I'm bringing back one of my favorite uh, spreads. I used to do this a lot when I first started the channel. It's called my mirroring spread. And what it entails is this deck is going to pick up on your current feelings, intentions, and actions towards the person on your mind right now. And then in this deck, I'm going to pick up on that same person, but get their feelings, intentions, and actions with you. And then I'm going to see if you guys are mirroring each other and on the same, same page. Then the fun starts when I bring out my cat deck. This is when I start clarifying and getting extra details. But I'm going to warn you, if you're new to my channel, when I start clarifying, it gets a little intense in here. All right? I get into a zone, and I just want to get out as many details as I possibly can, so I talk really fast. Cards are being thrown all over the place, even the floor. And combine that with the fact that I am a Bostonian, things get a little intense. So there is a setting underneath this video that will allow you to slow down my speed. And for some of you Bostonians, New Jerseyans, and New Yorkers, you guys can increase the speed. <laughs> I want everyone to have fun here and feel, you know, comfortable with the reading, okay? So, just wanted to say, when you see the pause come out, hit that pause button and adjust your speed. All right, I'm so excited to do your reading, Cancer. And a family member made a really cool observation. I've always noticed this about myself, but it was cool to hear it from another person. They were like, are you about to do a Cancer reading? I'm like, yeah, how'd you know that? They were like, because you get extra cuddly and loving and sweet when, you know, when you're about to do a cancer reading. And then um, they also said, yesterday when I was doing my Leo reading, King of Wands, I start getting really silly and playful and childlike. I am a Leo son, but it's like it's intensified right before I do a Leo reading. And then when I'm doing Gemini or Aquarius, I get very informational and structural, very professor and serious-like and talkative. So it's, it's, it's a cool observation. So let's begin. What is Cancer's current feelings, intentions? Well, that one wanted to come out. Seven of Wands, Fire Energy, and the Star. Okay? You might be fighting for some sort of wish. Okay? You might be really fighting for some sort of hopeful situation to turn in your favor. Aquarius Energy. Or something is going to happen during Aquarius season, during the full moon in Leo. Because the Seven of Wands is Leo Energy. All right? One more shuffle. Ah, the cards just want to talk today. Let's rock this deck. Cancer in their person, their feelings, intentions, and actions. Overall energy, the magician. You could be connecting to an Aries energy. You're manifesting something, Cancer. You're you're making your intentions, you're setting them, you're, you're feeling like they're already yours, and you're setting them out to the universe. You're making some sort of wish. And I did see that with that uh, star card wanting to come out with that seven of wands. It's like you're fighting for some sort of opportunity to go in your favor, or you're fighting to be with someone, or you're fighting for an opportunity, whether it's in business or love. All right, so let's see what's going on with your person. But you definitely are in manifestation mood, all right? So what is Cancer's per- Whoa, did you see that? The friggin' Queen of Wands just forced its way out of my hand, and the Six of Cups is on the bottom. Some of you guys could be end up getting a return from a fire sign. Maybe you're um, reconnecting with a fire sign during the full moon in Leo. All right, because I was guided to bring that up during the pre-shuffle. So I feel like, um, I think it's in the start of January 20th, moving forward, is the full moon in Leo. I could be wrong, but I feel like a lot of... People are going to be opening up their true feelings during that time because the full moon makes people act totally different with their emotions. And with it being a full moon in Leo, that's when people become more talkative, more expressive because Leo rules the heart. And Leos are very creative um, with their communication. When they want someone and they have feelings for someone, they say it. So I feel like if you're dealing with someone who has been holding back their feelings and not being expressive, the full moon in Leo, when they return to you, there might be some some feelings being expressed, okay? And this is the Six of Cups, so that is soulmate energy. So if it's meant to come back out, it will come back out, but I feel like I keep on getting side notes for you guys. All right, one more shuffle, please. Let's rock this deck. Cancer's person's feelings, intentions, and actions with Cancer. The overall energy, the sun. 
You guys, there are no accents in tarot. There are so many synchronicities in this reading already, and I haven't even begun. The cards were just like spitting out. And for some of you guys, you're definitely connecting with a fire sign, most specifically a Leo, okay? And you were heavy in Leo's reading yesterday, okay? But regardless, their overall energy for you is happiness. You make them feel alive. You make them feel childlike. You make them feel like everything doesn't matter when they're in your energy. You make them feel good. And I feel like you both are like birthing something brand new going through maybe a major transformation where you guys are going to birth a new beginning with that sun showing up right underneath that. When there's a death, there's a birth, okay? And what's funny is the Three of Cups is right under that. And I did say, I feel like you guys are going to be reconnecting with someone who's going to finally open up their true feelings under a full moon. If you guys don't have goosebumps and chills right now, I don't know what to tell you. You being a Cancerian, you guys are highly intuitive, I bet... A, your bottom dollar that 90% of you guys all have chills on your arms right now like I do. Wow. And then there's the strength card, Leo energy, and the two of cups, soulmate energy, and the ten of cups. Okay, some of you guys could have experienced a missed opportunity with this four of cups being here, cancer energy. And now there's going to be a chance for someone to reconnect with you and say exactly how they feel and no longer holding back. Someone is definitely embodying fire energy to where they're like, you know what? I'm going to say it because fire signs, and even if you're not dealing with a fire sign, you don't have to be. It's... It's telling me that under the full moon in Leo, a lot of people, no matter what zodiac sign they are, are going to embody fire-like energy. And fire signs don't allow opportunities to become missed ones. All right? Grass does not grow under their feet. They, they take opportunities. They're very fast. They think later. They do now and think later. So I feel like whoever you're connecting with, whether it's an Aquarius, a Gemini, a Libra, a Taurus, a Virgo, during the full moon in Leo in Aquarius season, something major is going to go down. And it's going to brighten up your day. All right? Damn. So what is Cancer's current feelings for this person? You love them. You love them. King of Cups. Some of you guys are connecting to a Pisces. All right? But this is also your energy and the energy of Scorpio. You love them. Whoever this person is, Cancer, you love them. And I feel like something needs to be said. Something needs to be expressed. Whether you're the one holding back from this person, or they're holding back from you, or you both are just keeping it to yourself. 737 on the clock. Seven sevens are a very spiritual number. It's time to open up. It's time to open up. The King of Cups love so deeply, but they don't wear their heart in their sleeve, and they hold it in. And the only way to find out if a King of Cups has feelings for you is through their eyes. Eyes are the window to someone's soul. I feel like I'm picking up on a Cancerian. Or their person who just really held in their feelings and never let them out. But something is happening. I f oh my goodness! You guys! Right under this sun energy is the Three of Cups. This is what we had a moment ago. Under the sun is the Three of Cups. You see that? There are no accents in tarot. Alright? Something is going down under the full moon in Leo where you guys are going to reconnect or have a lot of fun, maybe some drinks with some truth serum, because alcohol does bring out the truth, and something is going to be birthed, okay? And I feel like a lot of you guys may have been in no communication with this person, or there's been very little communication with the four swords showing up. Alright? Damn, Cancer, what is going on with you? All right, so their feelings for you, they're, they're obsessed. Whoever you're dealing with Cancer, they're obsessed. All right, you could be connecting to a Capricorn, but whenever I get the devil as someone's feelings, they're obsessed, but they're not telling you about it, and I feel like there's going to be some clarity coming up with this sun energy and the three of cups. Now, they're not going to be like, hey, Cancer, I got something to tell you. Psst. I'm obsessed with you. I can't stop thinking about you. But they are going to reveal something just so they can get this energy off of their back. I feel like this is suffering them. They're, they they feel like they can't take it anymore. They're, they don't like being chained up. And if you're dealing with a fire sign, you bet your butt that they don't like being chained up. They want to be free. They want to be more free-spirited and release something that they've been holding inside of them. They can also have been dealing with some addictions, okay? Or they were dealing with someone who was, you know, codependent on them. Or they were recovering from some sort of uh, past issue. Okay? Whoa. And for some of you guys, someone likes to watch Star Trek. 
Okay, that's just a little side note. I've never ever said this about this card before, but I glanced over this hand and I saw Star Trek. All right, and I never watched that damn show. I never watched it. No, no disrespect to Star Trek because Lucille Ball was the the one that made Star Trek uh, possible because she believed in that that series and allowed them to um, start the, the series off on her network with Desi. Anyway, side note. Okay, so your intentions with this person, Cancer, is the Seven of Pentacles. You want to invest in this person. You may have already invested some time in this person with the Seven of Pentacles because the Seven of Pentacles represents investing in something because you know there will be results. I feel like you have been slowly nurturing this connection as this woman is nurturing this tree. All right, you see growth. So you are being very patient with this person. You're slowly you know, taking good care of this like Mr. Miyagi with that bonsai tree. You're d definitely being very meticulous and patient because you see long term with this person and you don't want to do anything that's going to screw it up. So I feel like you're definitely holding back and not revealing all of your feelings right now and not keeping them on your sleeve, but you are feeling the feelings deep. You are feeling them deep, Cancer. And their intentions with you? The Nine of Cups. I don't know what you did to this person, Cancer, or what they did to you, but you guys are definitely feeling something. All right, this person has intentions of making you happy. That's their intentions. I want to make Cancer feel like the Nine of Cups. They want you to be very, very happy. All right, but I feel like they're not giving you the feelings that you're wanting to hear just yet, but I definitely feel the full moon in Leo and Aquarius season, something major is going to be said from this person's lips. All right, or you're gonna get some sort of nonverbal cues, okay? So the actions you wanna to take towards this person? The Ten of Swords. What the fudge is all, all this about? That doesn't even make sense. Unless you have to close out a cycle in order to have this person, okay? Your actions is feeling kind of betrayed by them. All right, so you know what? That's the first card I'm gonna clarify. So their actions with you, Cancer? The Two of Pentacles, oh! All right, all right, I'm getting it now. All those repeated three of cups, the devil, clarity, the moon. You may be waiting on this person to either close out a cycle with a person that is um, very codependent on them to heal from something that was painful or they're in a situation right now and you're waiting for them to end it or they're waiting for you to end something. All right, there's some sort of cycle that needs to close. So let's just jump right to that, shall we? Because this, the overall energy is beautiful. And the Queen of Cups on the bottom, Cancer energy. So why is the Magician Cancer's overall energy? Why is the Magician Cancer's overall energy, Aries energy? Wow, I love your reading. I absolutely love the energy I'm getting. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Okay, there is an energy of you needing to be patient with this person. For some of you, this person's getting out of a situation that has been really toxic towards them and draining towards them. Okay, and for some of you guys, yeah, I'm definitely getting the energy that you need to take something one day at a time with this person. So let me just go straight to that Ten of Swords because that is like staring at me. It's like you're reaching out for them with your hand. You're feeling backstabbed. You're feeling like this person has, you know, hurt you in some way. Okay? And it might be due to them being indecisive about their feelings or indecisive about opening up to you or indecisive about being with you. Something is not adding up here. Why is that Ten of Swords here? Why is that Ten of Swords here? The Two of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. You may be feeling like this person's not making much of an effort and you're feeling like they are going to end things with you or that they are, and there's the Ace of Swords. There's that clarity that's coming in. You're getting some sort of clarity and I feel like it's strongly under the full moon in Leo, okay? Or you're dealing with a Leo or something like that. But in your actions, I feel like you're either going to end the connection with them if they don't open up to you or you're waiting for them to end something to be with you and it might be someone toxic that they're dealing with or you're feeling betrayed by them and you're reaching out for some sort of clarity from them. You're reaching out to your soulmate. You're reaching out to your soulmate. I'm getting three different, you know, storylines here. All right, storyline A. You're getting, you're getting to the point where you're going to end things with them if they don't open up to you. 
but little do you know that there's going to be a purge of emotions during the full moon in Leo during Aquarius season when you guys get together for drinks possibly with that three of cups all right and for some you need to close out something in order to be with them and that's why your overall energy is the magician with the death card some of you guys may be needing to get out of a situation in order to birth a new one with the sun and reconnect with this person. There definitely could be a third party situation. I don't always go to that. Okay, you guys know if you've been watching my channel long enough, I don't always go to that. But that's that's the three uh, storylines I'm getting. Storyline A, you want to leave this person if they don't open up. Storyline 2, they need to end something to be with you. Storyline 3, you need to end something to be with them. And for others, there might be a bonus for that this person is just juggling a lot with work and life and they're just not telling you what you need to hear right now. But there's clarity coming in and a new start with the fool. And this is Aquarius season. And look, this is the Aquarius energy for the fool and right there is the sun. There's something going down during Aquarius season under the full moon in Leo. I'm, I'm strongly getting that, you guys. Okay? So why is there overall energy for Cancer of the sun? The Four of Wands, all right? They want a commitment with you, they do. But your person may be feeling like this is a defeated situation with the Five of Swords. There's something that maybe the communication isn't where it should be with you guys, or this person's afraid of being vulnerable with you, or this person needs to leave someone to be with you, or vice versa. And as I said that, the Justice card, there could be already a marriage involved here. I'm getting like four different messages here. You know your situation more. You know if you're in the group of cancers that are dealing with someone that is still getting over something that was painful from their past and they're doing a lot of juggling with their life work and trying to find balance in their life. And then you know if you're the ones that are waiting for someone to get out of a situation to be with you or you're the group that is about to end this with this person if they don't open up their feelings. You know your own situation. So why is cancer's current feelings for this person the king of cups? The Knight of Cups. You want to express yourself to, to this person and give them some sort of offer with that Knight of Pentacles. All right? You see them as an Empress. So why is their current feelings for Cancer the Devil? The Six of Cups and the Two of Wands. And we saw that earlier, I feel like. There's some sort of return with this person where they're going to make a decision with the Two of Wands and they're going to come to you with honesty with that Queen of Swords. They're going to come to you with the truth. All right? Because they may have allowed something to become a missed opportunity with the Four of Cups, Cancer Energy, due to either a previous commitment or a fear of commitment with the Hierophant. Okay? Knight of Wands, Sagittarius Energy. Why is Cancer's current intentions with this person the Seven of Pentacles? Jeez, I told you guys, when you start clarifying, you really get the freaking meat of the, of the potatoes. <laughs> Wait, I said that weird. That was the wrong way. You get to the potatoes of the meat. I don't know. So why is the Seven of Pentacles Cancer's intentions? The Eight of Cups in reverse. Okay, there might be a situation where you walked away from this person because they weren't opening up to you, but you're wanting to invest more into this because it, it might have something to do with the fact that they're going to be opening up to you. All right, they're bringing more stability your way with that Queen of Pentacles. All right, why is Cancer's person's intentions the Nine of Cups? And as I said that, the Hermit and the Ace of Cups. They're being quiet and withdrawn, and I feel like that's why you're getting to the point where you might end up closing out the cycle with this person with that Ten of Swords. All right, they're dealing with some inner stuff. I feel like that Devil energy is either uh, telling me that they are really hyper-focused on you, but they have a lot going on that they need to find balance in, or for some of you, this person's dealing with a lot of trauma from a past relationship and they're just scared about starting something new with you or this connection with you is triggering memories in regards to someone else but their intentions is the nine of cups and the ten of uh the ace of cups nine plus one is ten cups and there's that page of pentacles so why is the two of pentacles in this person's actions they want to take to cancer you guys are getting my heart rate up <laughs> The High Priestess, Pisces and Cancer Energy, yep. They had definitely been keeping something a secret from you, but that secret's being revealed, okay? And I feel like they're going to reveal it just when they realize that you may be pulling back your, your energy and closing out a cycle with them. 
Wow, I'm getting too many different messages. So what's the possible outcome with these two? The Chariot and the Page of Pentacles. Someone rushing to you with an offer or you're rushing to them with an offer. All right, you guys could be at a distance from each other, a different race, a different age, very different from one another. But someone is pushing through. You could be dealing with a Cancer Leo Cusper or you are a Cancer Leo Cusper. All right. So, yeah, wow. That friggin'. Your actions, man, is what threw me off here. Because it doesn't make sense with the surrounding energy. Okay? But the more more you get into the meat and potatoes, that's how it, it's supposed to be said. Um, that's when you get more clarity. And that's when it starts branching out into uh, several different storylines. Because I am reading for thousands of people here. Okay? So let me get an overall for your romance angles. Okay? In the extended, I'm going to dig deeper into that full moon shit. And the outcome... I already told you what the outcome is, but I'll get more nosy. So, what is the overall for their love situation for Cancer? Whoa, I'm not taking eight cards. What is, what is their overall energy for Cancer? What is the overall energy for Cancer? I get heavy Cancer in this reading. Heavy Aquarius, heavy Leo, heavy Pisces. All right, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Yeah, this person's opening up to you about something and it's going to bring your bond closer. I feel like I'm picking up on a cancer that is getting ready to like say hasta mañana and this person is going to be like, wait, this is what I want to say to you. And then we have situation is calling for you to have faith. This is the fool card. Someone is going to be taking some sort of leap of faith here. Passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. This is the King of Wands. Leo energy, but also Aries and Sag. There's a lot of passion that this person has for you, okay? And enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. This is the Honeymoon card, which is uh, my Six of Swords. So someone may be at a distance from you, but they're moving towards you with, you know, either open communication or you guys are moving to common waters with that energy. Wow. That was a bumpy ride, and I'm glad you guys were here with me. I just hope you had your seatbelt on. Damn. All right, if that resonated, I will get more nosy in the extended, but this is where I leave you. I love you so much, Cancer. If you could please be so kind and hit that like, subscribe, and the notification bell, I would greatly appreciate it. I love you, Cancer.